You're such an asshole. Assholeconsulting.com have a very, very innocent, but a very interesting question. And old, cynical bastards like me, huh? we have the correct answer. But at one time, the, the email request or the, the question reminds me of me when I was young and idealistic. Dear asshole, this will be a slightly lengthy one. I would like you to make a video discussing your opinion on voting for libertarian candidates. Me and a friend recently had a debate about this. His conservative Trump supporter, he is a conservative Trump supporter, and was trying to make the argument that as a libertarian I should vote for Trump basically because he has a better chance of winning than any libertarian. He backed up his argument by saying my idealism was unrealistic. I voted for I myself voted for Gary Johnson in the 2016 election and would have proudly voted for Ron Paul in 2008 and 2012. I simply believe Gary Johnson was a better candidate because he aligned more closely with my views. Trump, on the other hand, is not even that conservative. The only thing I really like about him is that, as you have pointed out in your videos, he does not mince word and he's not trying to be politically correct. And let's not forget that it it makes the left go into conniption fits. Like, he ruins their day by his mere existence, the fact he got elected. My friend made the tireless argument that there's no point in voting Libertarian because they never win. Of course, if no one ever voted Libertarian, that then it follows they would never win. But if people begin to vote Libertarian, it could have a snowball effect. However, much, after much debating, he tried to then say that my stubborn idealism and my willingness to compromise will ruin both the Conservatives and Libertarians. His argument for this was that a Libertarian votes was that Libertarian votes will chip away Republican votes, thus causing liberal victories in elections. Yeah, that's how uh, Bill Clinton got elected. <clears throat> Look into that. While I slightly agree it does have an effect on Republican polls, it also has an effect on Democrat polls, but this is just shifting the blame to Libertarians for losing elections. If Republicans and Conservatives want to win more elections, they should give their country better candidates. Well, you, you have to admit... This last uh, presidential election, the primary, they came out with some damn good primary candidates. Um, I keep pointing that out. I'm like, you look at the Democrats, it's like old cunt or, or male old cunt. I mean, which, choose your cunt. Which, which career politician scumbag? But it, the Republicans came out with a very diverse, yeah, it was, it was two variations of white cunt. Uh, but with, uh, with the Republicans, they, they actually had a truly diverse in terms of skill, background, and then also racial skin color, because that's the, of most important to everything on the left is the racism. Um, so they, I, I, they did field some pretty darn good candidates there. Uh, that was one little bit of hope, uh, the, the variety we had. Finally, I see myself, I myself see this as a question of honor and intellectual honesty. I am stubborn. I am a stubborn voter and libertarian idealist because I refuse to compromise on what is true. You cannot compromise on the truth. Call it radical idealist romanticism, call it what you will, but this country will would never have been in, established if our founding fathers had the same spirit of compromise when they were given what at the time and in hindsight was a very fair and moderate tax imposed on the colonies. I said, well, you got money riding on this? He says, no, but he paid for it. All right, <clears throat> you're wrong. Your buddy is right. You have, you, look, this is all cute and wonderful. And idealistic, you're right. I mean, and, and should we don't live in shoulda land. You have to live in reality land. Uh, now, I am a libertarian, but I, I've always voted Republicans because libertarians never field good enough candidates. <clears throat> also, some of the dumbest people uh, I've ever ran into, I mean this seriously, was when I would do speeches for the Republican Party in Minnesota. Uh, working with Republicans, meeting them. Uh, the, the re not, not people who vote Republican. I'm talking the people who run the Republican Party and are participant and active in the Republican or conservative politics. They are dumb. They're some of the dumbest people I've ever met. The only people dumber and more incompetent than that are people who run the Libertarian Party. Uh, I remember in college talking to like the state people and I'm like, holy cow, you guys are in charge of this? <laughs> <laughs> well, man, yeah, or like libertarian. There's no professionalism. No, I know it's all cool and hip be a libertarian, man. Well, check it out. I'll get a blowjob at this party. Cool. Absolutely cool. There is no professional leadership at the Republican Party either, but definitely it's worse at the Libertarian Party. They're a joke. Now, this doesn't mean I don't want libertarian ideals to be one. Uh, which is why I advocate that if you, the Libertarian Party and Libertarian people, Libertarians in general, want Libertarians to get elected, they should go and run for Republican nominations. Uh, the infrastructure is already there. Most Republicans are very Libertarian. Uh, Donald Trump, for example, is, is for gay marriage. 
I think most Republicans don't care. Yeah, go ahead, be gay. You, know, the, the, you only have, like, maybe you might find some resistance from the uh, Christian right or the Christian conservatives, but your rank and file Republican is, is more idealistically aligned with libertarianism than they are traditional social conservatism. And so all you got to do is get a libertarian. Look, Bernie Sanders did the same thing. He, he's a socialist, but he ran with the Democrat Party. All right? That's smart. That's the one smart thing he did. Uh, libertarians should do the same thing. They should aim to take over the Republican Party. And that is not only going to help libertarians get elected, but it's practical. It's strategic. When, you, when you're done, about 23, 24, you'll have that idealism beat out of you. You'll realize that the real you have to live in the real world and be practical because things won't get done. And so, you know, the one or two or three, maybe 4% of you can all keep voting libertarian. Maybe giving some credence to your, your buddy's argument that it'll take away votes from the conservatives and help uh, Democrats get elected. That's true. It's possible. Um, but that, that's cute. It's really cute. And we don't have the time for libertarians. Well, man, I mean, no. Idealistic, I understand you're not like, dude, man, you sound a little bit more intelligent than that. Get your fucking asses to start voting for the Republican Party. I know I don't like them any more than you do. I have a complete disrespect, but they at least have the vessel by which you don't have to spend any money, you don't have to build on it, you're not going to compete. You just basically take over the Republican Party with ideas and, 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 and libertarian candidates running under the Republican flag. There was a piece of me, I, I'm not going to tell this idea, but I figured out a way to basically bluff the Republican Party out of existence. And not bluff, it would, it would absolutely, I found a way to do it. It would absolutely destroy it. And I'm actually debating, like, giving this idea to the Democrats for a billion dollars. And I'm like, I don't care what you fuckers vote in. I forever have an agreement with the Democrat Party. I never pay fucking taxes. You pass a fucking law, you're going to pay me my billion fucking in cash. You're going to shut the fuck up. You're going to leave me alone. And here, this will kill the Republican Party. Um, but I don't trust Democrats. And because they don't... Don't think just because the Republicans are stupid and the Libertarians are dumb, or that the Democrats aren't pretty dumb themselves. With uh, the two varieties of cunt they got to choose with, one of which stole the nomination from the other one. <clears throat> um, yeah, they're they're they got their own problems. I don't think they're smart enough for that. But yeah, I, I look. I know what you're saying. But do you want Libertarian ideas to be implemented in society? Have Libertarians run for Republican uh, nominations. That's the best way to do it. It's the best way, cheapest way, most efficient way. And, uh, yeah, just I wish the Libertarian Party would just, not that it would go away, but it'd be more practical. So, all right, that's it. You guys got questions? Cappy's got answers as long as you got money. Older brother of America, consultant, dark knight, blah, and all that other shit. We'll see you guys later. Toodles.